Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this basketball. Let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. We'll call it basketball. Let's create a sphere. Put on the front plane. We'll make it about 240 millimeters. Next, let's go ahead and split the body. Splitting tools is gonna to be the front plane. XZ plane. Let's go ahead and remove one of the bodies. Okay. Let's create a sketch on this face right here. Let's start out. We're going to use the construction uh, line type. Center rectangle. Start in the center. Drag it to the edge. Next, we're going to use the equal constraint. Select this line. And this line is fully defined. Okay. Next, we want to use the control point spline tool. Select this edge until you see the square. Actually, let's back out. What we want to do is remove the line type construction. Go back and use the control point spline. Select this edge, the center point, and then select that point right there and end it. And it's fully defined. Do the same thing for the bottom. Select this point, this point, and that point. End it, and now it's fully defined. Let's create some lines. Let's have a line and go one vertical line straight through this point, end it. Another line from this edge to this edge, end it. And let's go ahead and <clears throat> make this line coincident with the center point. This line coincident with the center point. Okay. We don't necessarily need these fully defined. We just want them stationary. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Create another sketch, okay? Put it on the front plane. All right. What we wanna do now is we wanna project this geometry onto this face. And to do that, use the project include tool, project to surface. The faces we want to project to, it's gonna be this one. And it's gonna be a long vector. The vector is gonna be the front plane. Curves is going to be this line, this line, this line, and this line. Okay. Click OK. All right. Now what we want to do is create an ellipse. Use the ellipse tool. Select this point right here. Bring it out and we'll do it about right there. <clears throat> okay. So from here to here, we'll make this about 1.5 millimeters. And from this point to this point, we'll make this about three millimeters. Okay. And to make it fully defined, we're going to select this line and make it fairly constrained. All right. Now, next phase in this process is we're going to use the circular pattern tool. Okay. We want the center point to be obviously the center. Select this point. Objects, we want to be the ellipse we just created. Angular spacing, we want it to be angle. We want it to be 180 degrees. And we want to make it a quantity of five. Okay. And it's going to give you five ellipses along this edge here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn off projected geometries for now. And you'll see those five ellipses going around the edge. Okay. Turn back on show projected geometries. Click OK. And finish the sketch. All right. We're going to use the sweep tool to create the grooves inside the basketball using those profiles. All right. 
using the sweep command. Select the bottom path. It's going to be this line. Click OK. OK. I'm going to do this a couple more times. But let's bring back the previous sketch. Use the sweep command again. Bottom profile. Select this line. And click OK. Give it a second here. All right. Sweep command. This bottom profile here. Path. This line. Click OK. And then sweep command once again. Bottom path. Bottom profile. Path. This line. Give it a second and click OK. Still working. All right. There you have it. OK, turn off the sketch. And let's go ahead and add some fillets. Okay. So we're going to select these outer edges here. Okay. Should have about 27 edges. I'm going to make this one millimeter. And click OK. All right. Now what we want to do, we can give it a texture. Let's see. I've saved some textures in my appearances. Let's drag this over. And basically what this is, is leather matte. I started out with yellow and I gave it this color and these parameters. Take a quick second look at that. Okay. What I did then is just take that same, actually I can just right click, duplicate, edit, and I just make it black. Click done. All right. Select faces. Go ahead and start adding color. I need to go ahead and do the edges as well. some more up here to do. Again, this is all optional, obviously. Okay. All right. Now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and save this. Let's call it B-Ball. 
Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and use the mirror command. I'm gonna select bodies. And the mirror plane is gonna be this plane right here. Select the body. This is gonna be the body, obviously. It's gonna be join. Click OK. And there you have your basketball. Well, I hope you enjoyed this simple and brief tutorial about making a basketball. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.